You already know what it is. It's your boy Laid Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, documentary. You up the bat. Like what you see, like what you see. We going hard, we going hard. Let me know me. It's Laid Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. And I gotta take a shot of this fireball. Hey, this joint nice and froze too. So check this out, man. We doing something different today. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. You know, stay up to date with all the videos and stuff like that. But look, you know I'm in the dogs. I've actually been featured on this channel before. It's uh, actually documentary, and um, they doing uh, the Connie Corso or whatever. So something different. I got my own bully. If y'all know from watching my vlogs, you've seen him, Hyperion. That's my boy. But look, let's go ahead and get into this dog, man. Documentary TV, producing the best breed documentaries on YouTube. Oh. Bro, how big is this dog, bro? Oh, you definitely don't want him charging you, for real. Hi, I'm Sherry from Dow Chalo County Corso. What up? Here in Southern California. Hey. Hey, the County Corso is Madam's best friend because they are extremely loyal. They would probably protect you with their life. They. Hold up. Bruh, can you imagine, like, you see that dog, like, you on your morning jog or something like that, and you just see that. No. Um, like to go with you everywhere. He looked a lot of fun. He looked crazy. It's like a family member. Um, I think the kind of course is easy to live with. Um, they're very well behaved in the house as long as they burn up some energy. But I don't, I don't like that. They do a lot of drooling. You know them big dogs. They do a lot of drooling. So you might, you know, you might come in the crib and you might have your, your, uh, <laughs> your joint drooled on because he done shook his head. So you know, listen. Take them out, play with them, throw the ball, take them to the park, take them anywhere. Um, he nice. And they're well behaved in the house. Socialization nice, is extremely important. That's another good reason to take them everywhere you go. He's like a, a panther or something. Um, this is Bertale. Bertale. He will be two years old next week. So he's still. Uh, Bertale is good character. So he's still growing. This dude gonna get bigger than this. Man, hold up, man. Six are a lot of bone, which I really like to see on the males. You see a lot of males out there with not good bone. This and they're a working dog. dog. I, I like them to be impressive looking, but still be able to function and move. Not so big that, you know, they can't run and work. Some of his other qualities are dark pigment. Um, I think he moves well. Um, he has a lot of energy. But yet, he can totally chill and bruh, relax as this, well. Bro, this dog look crazy, bro. Bro, look. This one of them dogs, if you from like, you know, the part of the town where I'm from growing up, you know what I'm saying? And you walking this dog down the street, people gonna be like, bro. Or, or hold on, even better. You know when you go to somebody's house and they're like, yeah, I got a dog, you know, don't worry about it. And he come around the corner, you're like, hold on, bro, put your dog up, bro. Nah, nah, I ain't coming in your house before. You gotta put your dog up. He one of them dogs. You don't want to go in that crib without him knowing you accept it inside that crib. No, sir. Look at that. I'm straight. The Cane Corso is an ancient breed originated in Italy. Um, they were per pretty much used on the farms as guardians of the farms, guardians of the animals, protectors, um, you know, for strangers. Um, they're good working dogs. They like having a job. My husband first discovered, well, we actually, we both first discovered the breed back in 1990 um, at Arba, which is American Rare Breed Association show. Um, the county course obviously was not ready well, to see yet at that time. Uh, we were just very impressed with everything about it. So from then on, primarily my husband, Andrew, Yo, this dog is really beautiful though. Like, I've never seen like a Kanye Corso. And I ain't gonna lie, I thought it was Kane Corso. How many of y'all thought this is how you say it, Kane Corso? Obviously, it's Kanye Corso. I've been saying it wrong my whole life. But this dog is a beautiful dog, man. If you look at his coat, you look at how healthy his muscle tone looks and stuff like that. 
they they taking real good care of this dog. Um, did a lot of research on the breed. So in 1999, we actually got our first County Corso. And we've just had the breed ever since. We are just passionate about the breed. We love the breed. Pretty much everything about them. We do breed occasionally. We're a small hobby breeder. We don't have a huge kennel. We don't, you know, produce a lot of dogs. Um, we do it, we try to be very careful with the pedigrees that we choose. You, you know, we're always trying as a breeder to better the breed. Hey man, that's what I like hearing, man. That's what if look. When you get into these dogs and when you get into anything, you gotta make sure that you're trying to better it and you're trying to further it. And she's talking about quality over quantity. You know what I'm saying? So that's very important when it comes to dogs and stuff like that. And breeding in general, um, you wanna make sure it's quality over quantity. Like I said, I was also featured on this channel before and that was one of the things that I spoke about when it came to me and my American Bully was actually having quality over quantity, not overbreeding and actually not just doing it for the money, but doing it because you love the dog. Producing better than what you have, I think is the ultimate goal. He pretty is. I primarily do a lot of confirmation. Brutali is currently he is. an AKC Grand Champion. Brutali- Look at this dude. AKC Standard goes is a very good representative of the AKC Standard for the kind of- I want one. Um, for height. His, I think length of body is correct. A lot of substance, a lot of bone. Um, I think his head's very nice. It's Me too. Got a square head, a more square muzzle. His length of muzzle right. versus the length of head is correct. Um, Beautiful. Strong, powerful mover. Um, the AKC standard for the County Corso is up to 27 and a half inches for the males and up to 25 inches for the females. And the weight should be proportionate to the height. The acceptable colors for the kind of Corso are black, black brindle, chestnut brindle, gray, blue brindle, blue, blue, blue is beautiful, um, fawn, red fawn. Uh, the fawn should have a mask. Uh, for the fawns, it should be a black mask. For Formentino, it should be a gray mask. Oh, you just got drool all on your butt. He beautiful though. This dog is beautiful, bro. He blacker than her pants. Look. Um, he has uh, one leg on his rally novice. He's completed his trick dog title. He has is. his CGC. Um, we're also. Hey, I told y'all right. I told y'all they slobber a lot. If you look at her pants right now, she got slob all on her hip, and he got her, you know, right down there by the leg though. Barn hat. Just almost got a title on that. Yeah, boom. Um, we're continuing his AKC showing. He's actually working towards his bronze level AKC championship. He nice, man. Uh, we're getting closer to that. And just getting out there, just doing different things, trying to keep it fun for him and do different activities. And his we'll rear. Think his, obedience and stuff. Look at his um, head, bro. You know, he's doing stuff like that. His he's neck. Barn hat. Barn hat is one of his all-time favorite things. Getting, going after those little rats and going through up and down over bales of hay and he just thinks that's really fun. I'd have to say though the ball is probably his best friend. He will chase the ball all day long. Um, sticks, doesn't really much matter. You throw anything, anywhere, he'll go after it. Temperament is probably one of the number one things for us. Probably real chill. You can't have a dog that size that you can't trust. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Real chill I dog. Think the worst thing, the very temperament is basically like the attitude of the dog. Like, what's his natural personality? You know, some dogs be super on edge because they always want to go. Some dogs be chill. Some dogs be laid back. Basically, she's saying this dog is a real chill dog. But when it's time to go, you come up in my house, he gonna do what he's supposed to do. Don't go over there. Um, they get their feelings hurt. You know, they they try so hard to please you. And if you yell at them, they sometimes will just be very upset about that. They get their feelings hurt, you know? Wow, wow. Hurt. Have y'all ever heard of a dog getting their feelings hurt because they want to please so much? That's crazy. I've never heard that before. A big, tough, strong dog, you know, but they are sensitive. They, they really do want to please you. That's that's really dope. But Tully's physical. He's beautiful, though. Are, he's, he can't run all day. You know, most courses can't. 
Right. Um, Too big. For, yeah, for his size, I think he does really well. I mean, he will play and fetch as long as you want to do it. You're the one that has Deal. to make the call and Jeez. say, okay, that's enough, you know? Um, he's a hard worker. And if you notice, she back there galloping, and he just chilling like smooth trot. That's how big he is, bro. Like, he's just chilling, and she actually got a gallop to kind of, like, keep him at a stroll. You know what I'm saying? Big dog. He'll keep playing as long as he can. Um, so, like I say, we have to tell him when it's enough. If you're considering owning a Conic Corso, first of all, you really, really want to do your research. You want to find a good breeder that's going to be supportive of you through everything. You want to find... Uh, preferably a breeder where you can meet at least one or both of the parents. Check right. the temperament, you know. Um, like with any dog, dog personality. You, can, you know, know that they have good health scores, you know, that helps. Anybody that's considering a kind of Corso has to make sure when the dog, from the get-go, they have to do a lot of socialization. Because tone. by nature, they are guardians and they are protective. Right. And it's not the kind of dog you can just stick in the backyard and forget about it. Um, they, you shouldn't do any dog like that anyway for people out there. You shouldn't just stick your dog in the backyard, forget about them. You feel me? Boy people, they love meeting people. Um, but again, socializing them is extremely important. So again, Look, you, have go. To, you have to do your work. You have to train them because they are big, strong dogs. If he coming at you, bro, I'm like this. Them, they're gonna drag you down the street, you know? The kind of horses are very good at protecting their property. Um, they, as far as working, I would say guardians, guarding properties, you know, that's, that's going to be probably their, their biggest purpose. Um, as far as Battaglia and I moving forward, we uh, will continue to show an AKC confirmation. Um, we do want to start doing, you know, more other obedience type things, more rally. Pretty, uh, pretty just dog. Just trying different, different events. If you notice, he got like a little brown shimmer to him right here, like a, along his face. So he looks pitch black, but if you like, they got super close on him. You can see like he got like, I wouldn't say, I would say probably brindle. It's like a, a little, yeah, it's like a little brindle in there. So let him chase some rats and bark You know, he has, he has fun doing all that stuff. So just keeping him busy, keeping him active. Um, he's a really fun dog to take places. I really enjoy taking him out, um, taking him to the beach. Very predictable dog. So mm. you pretty much know what you're gonna get. All right, so that was Dogumentary with um, Connie Corso, most popular known as Kane Corso. I don't think I'm gonna stop calling him Kane Corso, but salute to the proper pronunciation, you feel me? Uh, yeah, man, like I said, we're gonna be trying some new things on my channel. We're gonna be reacting to a lot of different stuff. I thought this dog would be a perfect example to react to because he was a beautiful dog. I seen the thumbnail and was like, yo, Let's just react to it. You know I don't watch the videos before I react to it. It's just my honest reaction. Um, like I said, I was also featured on their channel, um, Documentary, uh, with Hyperion, my personal American bully. Y'all seen him for my vlogs and stuff like that. And also, the Connie Corso, which is AKA the Kane Corso. Beautiful dog. If you haven't seen any of these dogs in person, big dogs, big bone, big muscle, big head. You don't want to mess with these type of dogs. If you like an intruder, you're going to think twice. But, like she said, great temperament type dog. You know, great attitude, willing to please. You know what I'm saying? So much so that if they don't get it right, they might get their feelings hurt because you got to correct them. So, which means you got to definitely do your research when it comes to this breed. You want to make sure that you get it right. Guardian, um, also just all around nice looking dog. But you also got to worry about the drool. If you got a problem with drool, like me, I might think twice about this dog. But you also got to think too. Bigger dogs, they come with that. You know what I'm saying? Perfect, perfect example of the breed. Like they said, it was a grand champion. So the dog is confirmationally firm and also the, the temperament of the dog is sound. So Fire Squad, we're doing a lot of different things, man. Y'all let me know what y'all want me to react to. It can be pranks, it can be dogs, it can be whatever. Y'all let me know, man. It's your boy Layback, self-love and positivity. You know what you gotta do? Hit that subscribe button, man. It's your boy Layback. Until next time, Fire Squad, what's 